Hello everyone, welcome to Xinhua Life, a major Xinhua Chinese agency. Today, we are in Huang Luoyao village, grilling city of South China's Guangxijiang Autonomous Region. And we are here to show you a special festival, Double Bird Festival. And today we are here, uh, there will be a ceremony of long hair festival. Can you imagine how long would your hair be if you only cut your hair once in a lifetime? Today, the village is full of the women who saves their long hair for the rest of their lives since they are 18. So before the ceremony starts, let's uh, learn more about the festivals. And we have a special guest. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to Huang Luo. This is Huang Luo Yao Village. Uh, now you are in Huang Luo. And the friends from all over the world, welcome. Now today is a quite special day. We all getting here to celebrating the March 3rd festival here. Now you can see a lot of people from all over the world here. Um, this is the Long Hair Village. And I am from this village. My name is Pan Yanhua. All the people here have the same family name, that's Pan. So um, you can see we have the long hairs. All, everybody wears a long hair, so we call the long hair village. And later you may see the long hair. Everybody, you know, there's no other village like like this, like um, such so many women wear long hairs. So we have got the record. In which year do you guys got the Guinness World Record? Uh, in 2002, and that's a very uh, that was a very good news for us in the village, and that there was no such um, no so many visitors, but. Since we got a record, now more and more visitors come here. Yeah, as we can see today, there are quite a lot of visitors here. So they are here for the Double Blur Festival. And they are here to watch the uh, long hair festivals and watch the ceremony. So Yanhua, how about telling us uh, the ceremony today? Okay, um, you know, all the people meeting here uh, in this place uh, first, uh, we'll stand in a line, like here, and to sing the local songs. This is also called a welcome song. We sing these songs to express our welcomes, our hospitalities to everybody, you know, to all the friends from all the world. And then next, we'll go to the island, a moon island over there, to have a victory ride. You know, it means like the girls, when they become adulthood, they have a, a ceremony, you know, to cut an 18 years old girl, to cut her hair, and that's a symbol of adulthood. And then next one, all the ladies will stand in lines around the moon island to comb the long hair and to show the, the visitors our long hair. Uh, so I see your clothes is quite special, yeah. right? Is this your uh, special clothes of your ethnic group? Yes, you know, um, we are Yao and we be belong to Hong Yao and we also call Red Yao. But what we call Red Yao, you may see our clothes, our clothes, our skirts, our belts. The main color is red. So today we are in Huang Luoyao village. It's a village of Longsheng County. Longsheng County belongs to the administration of Guilin City. It is famous for its beautiful rice terrace fields and ethnic village in mountainous areas. The well-known Longji. The well-known Longji rice terrace fields, literally meaning long dragon's backbone were built through many generations of hard work ever since the Yuan Dynasty. The fields built along the mountain slopes wind from the riverside up to the mountain top with the highest place of an elevation 
of 885 meters, and the low is 380 meters. Besides the wondrous natural scenery, Longsheng County is also famous for its splendid ethnic customs and cultures. There are 10 ethnic groups in Longsheng, including Han, Zhuang, Yao, Miao, Dong, and some others, all of whom are addicted in folk singing and dancing. Each group possesses its own charm and differs from the others in agriculture, clothing styles, food habits, festivals, and customs. These unique people are found in several famous ethnic villages, including Yin Shui Zhong village, Jin Zhu Zhuang village, Bai Miao Bai Mian Miao village, and Huang Luo Yao village. Huang Luo Yao village is well known as the long hair village because the women villagers there wear hair as long as four feet. Often, visitors can see them washing their long hair along the river banks or take photos with them. They hold a Guinness record for the length of their hair. Okay, look over there. The girls are coming. There are like, like hundreds of women that are lining up. Uh, they are coming here to the Moon Island to possess the ceremony. So the ceremony is about to begin. So yeah, huh? let's tell us something about the ceremony here. Okay, you may see this is sacrifice um, ceremony here. You know, the one in the front, it must be someone in the village that has a very high virtue here. And this, and he is blessing, you know, this ceremony is blessing the people in the village. You know, we wish we, ha we will have a good weather for the crops and we will have a good harvest in the, in the year, in the last of the year. So, Yan what's the process now? Now, after the sacrifice ceremony, the girl, you know, staying in the, in the front, the girl will cut her hair later. But there will be somebody, like her mother, will cut her hair for her. Yeah, her mother. Her mother will do that. And then later, but, you know, um, the others cannot see. You know, they will cut the hair and then they will um, Yeah now you can you can see her mother stand behind her and will cut her cut the hair for her. So the haircut is about to begin. Yeah. Yeah this is the beginning. See, the girl is almost crying. It's too exciting. It's a very important day for her. Yeah, after the cutting the hair, the mother, her mother and the others will put her hair the other hairs on the head together. 
You know, in the Yao family, we never threw our hair away, but keep them together and put them on the head together. Now they are helping her to put the hair on the head. So the mother now is collecting the hair and she's going to put the hair on the girl, on the girl's head. Okay, the next step, they will show the long hair. Now maybe we can follow them and have a look. Yeah. Now they are going to wash their hairs. Yeah. So, is there anything special about the hair washing? Uh, yes, you know, um, the hair of the Yao ladies or girls are long, black and bright. You may see um, what we use is, the, is not the normal shampoos, but we make the, we made it ourselves. And that's quite very ordinary in our daily life. We call it the, the rice water, or the water after washing the rice. You may have a look. They will pour some in the barrel later. Now have a look. Yes, this is the rice water. The rice water. The water after washing the rice, they are putting in a big barrel and boil them together with some orange skins, and then you know keep them in a big barrel for about half a month or a month. Then after that, we use them to wash our hair. So what's the benefits of this uh, water? You know, um, this is good for the hair. After washing the hair, it'll become very soft, black, and no white hair. Even the very old grandma, you know, in the village, she has no white hair. This way of washing hair has passed down from generations to generations, a long time. How long has the tradition has been passed down? About 100, 100 of years, maybe? Yeah. Mm, mm, I think more than 1,000 years. 1,000 years. years, yes. Uh, quite thousand, a long time. Since the answers of the Yao. Yeah. Okay, now they are now washing the hair. Yeah, they are washing the hair and show you, you know, how we wash our hairs in the daily life. Yeah, how, how long do you uh, usually wash your hair a day? Um, not quite often, uh, oftenly, you know, because it's very hard for us to wash our hair. You know, every, like in the summer, every three or four days, and in the winter, every a week, yeah, we wash our hair. Yeah, how, long, how long would it take if uh, you mm. wash your hair one time? Yeah, when we, you know, the rice water, we put the rice water on our head and then we'll keep on the hair for 20 minutes and then 20 minutes later we wash our hair you know in the river oh in the yes. river yes in the river uh, usually this river yeah this river the river the water of the river is quite clean yes. and you may see very small fish very fish but we cannot see now Fish, 
Okay, now we are going to the uh, lady who's got the longest hair in this village. Well, the ladies here are saving her hair for over 30 years. That's in that you're going to have a little bit. 去年，到去年一一七年的时候量，现在过了两年了。现在可能两米，两米多。起码两米八，呃呃三八八吧，两米三，两米三这样子。那时候我两年了吗？两年两个时候就是两米二七吗？现在过了两年了。The length the length of the hair she got is more than. 2.3 meters now, and as you can see, she's winding her hair up here. It's quite amazing. So, Yanhua, what's the next step? Now, as you see, all the ladies here, the, the men and the girls will show the long hair. Now, please enjoy the long hair show. About 300 ladies and girls. Now they are showing their beautiful hair. Um, they are cut their hair now. They've got quite long hair, as you can see. Round 
on the head, married, but no babies. Yeah, there's the hairstyle you can see. Yes, let's go and find the third one. Let's go. There's another one we are going to show you. Okay, we've got one. Now have a look. This is the third kind. Round and with the cover. You know, this means single. A single hairstyle. And when she's married, then she can open her cover. Well, she's 20 now. Oh, uh, that's your last year, two years, right? Yes, last year, two years. Well, she cut her hair two years ago. Now, how long has she been here? Two years. Two years. The hair she's got now is about this long. Right now, she's saving for two years. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's take a close look at these beautiful ladies and their beautiful hair. <laughs> okay, today we have introduced you the mysterious uh, long hair culture of Yuan Yao, but there are more for you to explore. Yes, if you have a chance, welcome to the village to experience by yourself. All of the friends from all over the world, welcome, and we are waiting here for you. We have the long hairs, we have the handmade Yao clothes. Welcome. Okay, with this, we'll wrap our live show today. If you enjoy our live show, please share it with your friends in your YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. So, thank you for joining us. See you next time.